Ever wondered what makes your car engine roar to life, propelling you forward with power and efficiency? The answer lies in a technological marvel that has its roots in aviation but now dominates our roads, the turbocharger. We're diving into the heart of the matter, exploring the world of turbos, how they work, and why they've become an integral part of modern engines. So buckle up, and let's turbocharge our knowledge. Turbos weren't born on the streets, they were destined for the skies. Originally designed for aircraft, these powerful devices started infiltrating the automotive world in the 1960s, gaining widespread recognition in the 1980s. Today, the majority of petrol and diesel engines boast the added punch of turbocharging. But what exactly is a turbo, and what sorcery does it perform under the hood? Let's break down how your car's engine works. Picture it like a set of controlled explosions happening in each cylinder. For these explosions to occur, your engine needs three things, heat, fuel, and air. Together, they create the power that moves your car. Now, think of this process as a simple yet powerful routine. We call it the combustion process. It's like a mini explosion happening in each cylinder, giving your engine the kick it needs to run. Moving on to turbocharger. It's like a boost button for your engine. What it does is add more air into the engine, making those explosions more potent. But here's the smart part. The turbocharger doesn't go all out all the time. It's like having a turbo boost option when you need it. It kicks in mainly at certain speeds, adjusting how much power it adds as you speed up. This intelligent move ensures that your ride is not just powerful but also efficient, a simple way to get the most out of your engine while being mindful of fuel consumption. But here's the kicker, turbos don't hog additional engine power. They harness the energy of exhaust gases that would otherwise go to waste, spinning their fan-like blades at mind-boggling speeds. Early turbos were brutes, delivering power in a single overwhelming surge. Thanks to pioneers like Saab and Porsche, modern turbos have evolved into sophisticated systems, ensuring linear power delivery and maximum efficiency. Turbos live in a world of extremes, high pressures, and scorching temperatures. To keep them in check, they often come accompanied by trusty sidekicks, the intercooler and oil cooler. The intercooler chills the hot air from the turbo, while the oil cooler ensures the turbo's lubricant stays cool. Imagine it as a superhero duo, maintaining the perfect balance of power and cool-headedness. But why the turbo revolution? Simply put, turbos are efficiency wizards. They're not always in full force, activating strategically above certain revs. This means during light driving or official fuel economy testing, impressive efficiency figures can be achieved. Turbocharging found its sweet spot in diesel engines, with their simpler intake systems and robust blocks that can handle the immense air pressure. Now, let's rewind the clock and explore the roads before the turbocharged era. Picture cars without the whir of a turbocharger, relying solely on the natural intake of air. These vehicles, though lacking the turbo's power-boosting prowess, still had their own charm. Cars without turbochargers typically boasted less power compared to their turbocharged counterparts. Why? Well, a turbocharger's magic lies in compressing air and forcefully injecting it into the engine, unlocking a surge of power and efficiency. Without this mechanical wizardry, engines had to make do with the natural ebb and flow of air. The absence of a turbo meant relying solely on natural air intake. This, in turn, limited the amount of fuel that could be burned in the combustion chamber, putting a cap on the power produced. But fear not, for these non-turbocharged vehicles still manage to offer sufficient power for everyday driving needs. Interestingly, cars without turbos often held an ace up their sleeve, better fuel economy. Their simpler engine design, free from the intricacies of turbocharging, made them more efficient on the fuel efficiency front. So, while lacking the turbocharged punch, these cars carved their niche, offering a balance between power and fuel economy in the automotive landscape. 
turbocharging isn't just about power, it's a torque booster. Torque, the engine's strength, gets a turbocharged kick, especially at low revs. Picture a small petrol engine flooring it at 50 miles per hour in top gear, turbocharged might and efficiency at your command. And the bonus? Quieter exhaust pipes. The turbo's magic touch reduces gas output, making your ride not just powerful but pleasantly hushed. But, turbos aren't without their quirks. Ever heard of turbo lag? It's the brief pause between throttle and turbo response. Modern turbos employ clever tricks to minimize lag, double turbos commonly known as twin turbos, electric motors spinning turbines in anticipation. Yet, they're not invincible, neglect and abuse can lead to turbo troubles. Fear not, though, proper maintenance keeps them in top shape. Now, a question that might have crossed your mind, what distinguishes turbocharging from supercharging? It's a common curiosity so let's meet the supercharger, a different kind of powerhouse. Similar to the turbo, it's all about pumping more air into the engine, but here's the twist, the engine itself spins it. It's like a direct, no-nonsense approach. Unlike the turbo, superchargers are lag-free and love to deliver extra torque, giving your car a robust feel. Picture them as the muscle car of the power-boosting world, revving up with a soundtrack that's hard to ignore. But, and there's always a but, efficiency takes a bit of a backseat here. Superchargers sip power directly from the engine, not through exhaust gases like the turbo. So, while they bring the brawn, they do so at a cost to overall efficiency. It's a trade-off between raw power and fuel economy. And here you go, turbocharging and supercharging, our go-to methods for enhancing engine performance, share the mission of boosting horsepower in normally aspirated engines through forced induction. They're like air compressors, but each has its unique approach. Let's shift gears. Will the turbo face extinction in the electric era? The answer, not a clear-cut demise, but a transformation. Porsche, for instance, slaps the turbo moniker on its powerful Taycan EV versions. And who knows, future engines might dance with hydrogen, with turbos lending a helping hand in this eco-friendly tango. Before we draw the curtains, did you know the mastermind behind the turbocharger's inception? Meet Alfred J. Bucci, 1879-1959, the father of this incredible car part. An automotive engineer employed by the Gibraltar Sulzer Engine Company of Winterthur, Switzerland, Alfred crafted the turbocharger before World War I, publishing his ingenious design in Germany in 1905. His contribution to the turbocharger was monumental, continuously improving designs until his passing. And there you have it, the turbocharger, a wonderment that has transformed the way we experience automotive power. From its aviation origins to becoming an efficiency maestro in our drives, the turbo's journey is nothing short of extraordinary. So, next time you hit the road, remember, there's a little turbocharged magic propelling you forward. Thanks for turbocharging your knowledge with us today. If you found this video intriguing, hit the like button, subscribe Physics Daily for more automotive insights, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, drive safe, Stay curious, and keep the wheels turning.